Our top story tonight, Iran has unleashed a ferocious attack on Israel, launching more than 200 drones and missiles. This is all retaliation for a deadly Israeli airstrike in Syria that left top Iranian officers dead. Now, air raid sirens blared and the skies lit up with explosions as Israel intercepted many of those missiles and drones that rained down on the country. John Finolio has been tracking all the developments throughout the night and he joins us with the details. John. Kareen uh, Rick, it is just after 8 a.m. in Israel. Now, the Iranian missile and drone attacks came at night and lasted for several hours. But by daybreak, the strikes subsided with no casualties. Still, the rapidly escalating conflict is raising even more concerns about our regional war in the Middle East. Look, 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 look. Yeah. Air raid sirens and explosions sounding over Israel as Iran takes aim at the Jewish state. Iran launching a barrage of ballistic missile and drone attacks, marking its first direct assault on Israel despite decades of tension. Israel claims most missiles and drones were intercepted and shot down. The regime in Iran fired a massive swarm over 200 killer drones, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles towards the state of Israel. The U.S. and Britain also intercepting many of Iran's strikes. President Biden speaking by phone with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu after meeting with his security advisors. The president releasing a statement saying in part... I've just spoken with Prime Minister Netanyahu to reaffirm America's ironclad commitment to the security of Israel. I told him that Israel demonstrated a remarkable capacity to defend against and defeat even unprecedented attacks, sending a clear message to its foes that they cannot effectively threaten the security of Israel. Iran's attacks come after Israel bombed an Iranian embassy in Syria earlier this month, killing seven senior Iranian officials. Since then, Israel and its allies have been anticipating a retaliatory strike. I think it will be rather short-lived. John Paluska is a retired U.S. Army Green Beret captain who was wounded by Iranian shrapnel while deployed in Iraq. He says a direct attack by Iran represents a dramatic escalation of hostilities in the region, even if it is short-lived. Iran is really looking for uh, power. Iran is trying to show the world that they can defend themselves. Uh, they can support others uh, in, in conflict who they want to have support them, Russia to support Iran, and show you know, their power to the Middle East. Now, growing concern, the U.S. and its allies could be drawn into a wider war in the Middle East. What we're seeing as we speak is Iran, the world's worst state sponsor of terrorism, directly attacking Israel, our closest and most reliable ally in the Middle East. And I think now is truly the time for the United States to stand with Israel, to help protect it, and to make Iran regret this attack. I'd say Beijing is watching and, and Putin's watching. America talks a big game about Israel. Now's where we see if we put our money where our mouth is. And if we do that, we're serving our American interests in the Middle East. We're helping our ally Israel and we're sending a message to Beijing and to Moscow that we stand by beleaguered democracies when, when attacked. No deaths have been reported. Israeli officials say most missiles and drones were intercepted outside Israeli territory. One military base sustained minor damage. One child was reported to have been injured. The big question now, will Israel retaliate and when? Kareen Rick, back to you. John, thank you, and stay with KTLA for continuing coverage of the crisis in the Middle East. We'll be following this story all weekend, and for the latest anytime, head on over to our website, ktla.com, or you can download the free KTLA 5 News app.